It's Canteen Cup Tuesday, you know. Today on the menu we've got Raymond. <laughs> and a little pot of goodies from home. Leftovers, chopped onion, sun dried tomatoes, bit of chopped up kielbasa sausage, tiny bit of bacon, some frozen peas, chopped up pepper, all put in the freezer last night before I left home so that it was ready to go by lunchtime today. I was going to do this outside, but things didn't really unfold that way. So here we are aboard the Millennium Falcon. If you didn't know the Millennium Falcon had a gas stove, right, Tim? Yeah, well, it does. So we're going to do it there. Oh, one canting cup still counts. Stay tuned. So it's all in here, been in the freezer overnight, including the olive oil to cook it in. So it's just a matter of just dumping it in, sauteing it all up. Oh yeah, away she goes. Might look a bit Perhaps a bit strange at the moment, but it tastes great. Put you back in the cupboard where you came from. Put you back in the cupboard where I can keep my own. Well, that seems about right to me. Half the pack of Raymond with half the packet seasoning that comes in it. Straight in there. Cover it with water. Looks ready to me. Just a matter of taking it off the fire, covering it down, leave it for a couple of minutes and then eat it. Here it is then. Time for the taste test. You can see the sun-dried tomatoes have made it like there's a, some gravy in there. Uh, I don't know what to call this. I'd call this um, hmm, doomsday chop suey. That should ginger things up a bit. <laughs> it looks like a creature from outer space. Tastes delicious. So, Tim Watson re recently did a video um, on things to take backpacking. His sort of ideas, his favourite things, and he threw it open to sort of ask others in the community what their favourites were. Of course, I got a lot of favourites, but one of my favourites is in this dish, and that's the sun-dried tomatoes. Bursting with flavour. Um, they keep forever. Um, they're a great way of making a gravy, and it seems you can pretty much add them to anything to pep things up. So that would be one of my favourite, um, and of course, they don't weigh much either. That would be one of my backpacking faves.
and of course it's you know really easy to do. You just put all the ingredients in a little container or a Ziploc bag, freeze it the night before, and then you're good to go by the time you need it. Of course, you have to remember to take it out of the freezer. That's where I fall over. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.